Hello, welcome to Local Edition. I'm Leslie Layton. Our next guest is interested in making life a little easier in the Inland Empire and making doing business a little better here as well. He's Paul Granillo. He's the president and CEO of Inland Empire Economic Partnership. Glad you're here. Thank you, Leslie. Great to be here. Um, tell us a little more about what your mission is. Um, our mission is just what you said. It's to better the business climate and quality of life of the Inland Empire. Um, and uh, it's a big job, but uh, with uh, partners like Time Warner Cable, we're, uh, we're making the best of it. So how, that's a big, uh, it's a grand uh, idea, grand goal, but how do you pull it off? We do it by bringing together uh, business. We have what's called the Inland Empire Business Council, and, and those are some really important businesses, impor important employers in Riverside and San Bernardino counties. We do it with the counties of San Bernardino and Riverside, um, some of the, uh, the larger cities of Riverside and San Bernardino counties, and uh, we work with the nonprofits through the Community Foundation. And uh, you know, our major quality of life issue that we can, that all of us are working on is to better the the educational attainment in uh, in our area. Uh, so, your top goal for the next year or the next few years? Well, the, there's several. I think mm -hmm. um, uh, jobs is one. Uh, now, unfortunately, uh, the Inland Empire of regions of over a million people. Uh, we've had one of the highest unemployment rates. Uh, it's and, and uh, it's us. It's Detroit, um, and so it's not just talk. When it really affects us, it affects the people who live here. Everybody knows somebody who's struggling. So we really have to work on on making sure that we keep jobs and that we're making jobs in this area. Mm -hmm. So uh, together, this partnership, you put your heads together and try to come up with some ideas. You mm -hmm. have your top priorities that you just talked about, but you also get together with other communities and present uh, an economic summit of ideas to sure. the state. Tell us about your uh, summit coming up. Sure. The Inland Empire Economic Partnership, in concert with a group called uh, the California Stewardship Network and another group called California Forward, is participating in what's going to be an economic summit for the state of California. And the summit will be on May 11th. Uh, the, uh, the model that's being used is one that's been used successfully in, in Oregon. And by the way, if the Inland Empire was a state, we would be bigger than Oregon. We're almost, uh, we were about the, we would be the 25th largest state in the union, believe it or not, 4.2 million people. So we're using the model of uh, Oregon. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens is in different regions of the state, people, business leaders, policymakers will be meeting and we're going to set priorities as we see them. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, all of that information is gathered from the different regions and then it's put together, it's discussed at the, at the summit again on, on May 11th. And then that information is presented to the governor, it's presented to leaders in the legislature with the hope that they understand that this is really the people talking. This is the, 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 uh, the this is the real agenda they should this be paying is the attention real agenda, to right, as they move exactly. forward. Exactly. What do you think uh, they're going to be hearing from you all at well, jointly at that summit? Sure. I, I, I think uh, a couple of things. Um, for the Inland Empire, um, sectors like manufacturing, healthcare, mm -hmm. logistics, they're very important. Mm -hmm. And um, we have to make sure that there's a balance uh, because those are, are, are um, those are sectors that too often, I think, um, get beat up on um, by regulators. And yet, if we lose those sectors, if they leave the state, where are the jobs, right? Uh, people suffer and people's lives are, are affected by that. So w that's one. The second of all, I think uh, transportation and infrastructure um, the Inland Empire, we are connected to the ports of Los Angeles and Orange. Um, we play an incredibly important role in the economy of the United States, and yet because we are not, we're not getting the proper amount of funding, um, it affects our quality of life. It affects us on our freeways and on our streets and railroad crossings where people get caught. Those are some of the issues. And through the summit, you can uh, collaborate and get the ear of the legislator, and, and that's a good that, idea. That's our hope. All right. Thank you very much thank for you, being Elizabeth. here. Thank you for tuning in. More HLN next.